Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl, Beauty Nane, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about NYSE. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to camp, or you intend on going to camp next year, this year, whenever you want to go to camp, this video is for you. And in this video, we're going to be talking about things you need to know about NYSE orientation camp. Things you need to pack, the essential things you need. If you've not seen a video on this, my hairstyle because mm -hmm, I'm looking like a bad bitch yeah this is a minute juicy minute twist but I'm going to be leaving the link somewhere please do well to watch after this video and I'm going to be seeing you guys very soon <laughs> to know about NYSC, all the things you need to know about NYSC orientation camp, things you need to pack, the essential things you need to take, and so many more. So the first thing on my list is um, your documents. The very first thing you need before going to the NYSC orientation camp is to print out your documents. So you must have gone through your portals and you must have realized that, oh, you've been posted to God help you, Nasarawa, Jigawa. Your be Benway. Anyway, it is you were posted to I for one was posted to the same camp in Oya State. If you've not seen my camp experience, I'm dropping the link somewhere here. So please do well to click and watch. Mm -hmm. So I was posted to the same and while we were checking out our portals and my friends were already seeing Abuja, some were seeing Lakers, which I was jealous of. Anyways, we move. So um we we're asked to print out our documents, which is very much needed because if you do not print out those documents you would only make it to the nys camp gate you will make it beyond that's where your journey ends the camp gate so if you don't want your journey to end at the camp gate you need to print out your document and the very first document you need to print out is the call up letter so i'm going to be looking at my book to see all these things because ah, i don't know what this is in my head now i'm too too posh for that yeah no <laughs> anyways so the first thing you will need is the call up letter and you need this in the colored form and in the black and white form so you're going to print out the original documents then you're also going to print out um at least three copies of that color letter we were asked to print five and trust me it was a total waste because i didn't end up using most of them and they didn't even collect most of it from us but if you want to do wasabi like i did you can print five <laughs> Now you get Nigeria now. Print five. Anyways, you can print five of the color letter just to be on the safer side because I realized that what was happening in Oyo camp was not the same thing that was happening in Lagos camp. It wasn't the same thing that was happening in Jigawa camp. But they would tell us it's the same thing. But there are just some things that were modified. So you might really need all of the five copies and you might not. Then you also need the COVID-19 testing verification slip. Well, you must have heard when you get to camp they would really do a covid 19 test for you where they took one swab something inside your nose and your eyes will not be bringing out water guy it wasn't funny but i had to go through it and i was literally pleading blood of jesus because what if that is should enter past my nose and enter my brain what do i want to tell my parents but anyways your girl came out negative you <laughs> Anyways, you need a COVID-19 testing verification slip so you can get tested. If you don't get tested, you're not going to move beyond the gate. Well, you move beyond the gate, but you'll not move beyond the field because you will do your testing in the field. Then you also need your green slip. All of this, you need your original colors. You know, the green and I think white or cream color from the computer, a bit from the... Just tell them to print it in colored for you. Then you also need the black and white, which is like the photocopy or something. Then you also need your school certificate, or should I say statement of results? I don't know if they're the same things, but the ones that shall say that you finish from so 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 school and you probably finish with first class or second class, and start that kind of thing. You need that, you need the original one and also the photocopies. Then you're also going to need your medical fitness certificate from a government hospital private hospitals are not allowed or you're not allowed to bring a test a report from private hospitals you have to bring from a government hospital and don't let anybody go and buy you it's not up to ten thousand era it's not up to don't let them buy you but anyways you need that kind of report and you need it to be original don't let somebody tell you hey, i can do it for you and and then it comes out to be fake some people were actually chased back 
but were rejected because of that so you need an original one and you also need it in colored and in printed photocopied format then you also need a medical report there's a difference between the medical fitness certificate that one shows that you're fit that one includes hiv um blood something something your genotype your um, blood group all those essential things that your body system will probably you know give out for free i don't know but the medical report would state if you have any issues any deep you know issue that might make you not serve not basically said, but I might make you not want to be in the orientation camp. Because a lot of people did not want to go. Especially those that were transferred to Jigawa, Bayelsa, all those far, far places. But people still got their medical reports just in case they don't want to stay in camp. So when you submit that and they find out that it is very, very, you know, um, original, authentic, then they can tell you, oh yeah, go back home. That same day, they'll tell you to go back home. Then when it's time for you to do your, collect your what's it called i think documentation or something they just say to go to secretariat nearest to you and you would file everything up so you don't really have to be in the orientation camp if you have health issues if you have really serious health issues you don't have to be in the orientation camp but you have to show them first send out the report first then they let you you know do whatever it is you want to do collect your kids and everything and they tell you to go back home then you also need your school ID card. You need the photocopy of your school ID card because you'll be tendering that too. Then when it now comes to clothing, <laughs> me, I'm a I don't know if you know what that means. I used to pack load. Like I literally packed my biggest box. My biggest box is box is like extremely big. And it was full. Like I packed it to the very brim. I packed all my casual clothes, which I shouldn't have. So things you need to pack. So NYC orientation camp goes as follows or goes thus or whatever. Try listen. Listen. Anyways, the very first thing you want to pack is your white vest. You need two pairs because trust me, this is a very expensive. Well, since your dad is the owner of Nigeria, you can pack more than two vests. But me, I bought two vests, two white vests, all those ones that men used to wear. Not singlet though, the one with short arms, yeah. Then I also bought two shorts. Although I couldn't get the normal, um, very thick shirt, I only got the dressing material, but it still passes as a shirt as long as it's white. Then I also got pairs of socks. I got two or three pairs of socks, they're about because socks are not expensive. One is 250 naira. Who has that kind of money? So I got long socks, then I got two rubber um, sneakers. You need two rubber sneakers and they need to be white. All of these things need to be in white color. Then I also got a fanny pack because you need that to, you know, pack your things, um, put your money, your cards, your phones, your chargers. You need to put all of that inside. And then you probably need to get a fanny pack that can even have padlock safe. You can be as extra as I was. Get the fanny pack that we have padlock so that nobody will even steal whatever it is that is in your fanny pack. Then you also need a water bottle. I got a flask that could keep water cold for a very long time. And that is essential because when you start to parade under hot sun, go help you. They post you to the north and someone wants to roast you. You will need that water bottle and you will need the water inside to be cold. Because those soldiers on the field. <laughs> <laughs> they don't used to act like fellow Nigerians, so they would never say that because we're in the same country. They don't give a damn, girl. They don't. Very fair boy, too. They don't. So you need to get water bottle. And if you can get the biggest size, safe that will last you for a whole day because you would hardly be able to go back to the hostel more than twice to get a refill or to even go to the camp mami market to get a refill. So you need to have something that will last you for a while. Then you also need. Um, you need to buy a bucket with a bailer although if you feel like you cannot travel with a bucket because it might be too much luggage for you you might want to um, wait till you get to camp they sell in mami market but it is of it is very expensive more it's like times two of how much you would buy it in the normal market and when we were going i was lucky enough to see a shop very close to the nyc gate and that was where i got my bucket from she was even selling it in a pack it comes with bucket bailer I've been a buffer. Bella, that small boy, use and pour water on your body. Then one bucket for sheeting, the one that has cover. You know those bucket that our parents used to send us to go and blend pepper. Those very round, portable ones with cover. 
you have to get that one too because that was you'll be shitting inside you cannot use camp toilets if you're very very if you're a very very sensitive person like i am you cannot afford to use camp toilet no matter how neat you think it might be you know you can't see germs so you want to actually get your own personal bucket that you can be short putting inside then you pour water inside it and transfer it into the toilet that's how it works then you would also get your food flask because you'll be given food in camp they pay for our food they say federal government has paid for our food so when you want to go to the kitchen to get your food you need a pack to get your food inside and you don't want to be borrowing packs up and down so why not just get yours so you will need that you can call it a food flask you can call it a food pack then you need pens for signing and filling forms because some of this uh what's the code uh officials might not be as nice to give you their pen you know the way we we'll go to their table use their pen and carry the pen away so most of them have learned their lessons they won't give you their pens for you to use and sign so they expect you and they follow through with covid 19 regulations so they might not even let you use their pens at all so you have to have your own pen in order to avoid embarrassment and disgrace have your own pen then also get a jotter because we always at least the first week in camp you'll be going for lectures like mad in fact you will spend like four five hours doing lectures hearing a lot of things that you might not even remember when the camp is over because i can't remember for what they told us but well you will need jotters and they will make it mandatory that you bring something to write on sometimes they say give us assignment so you need your own jotter don't get one get like two or three then you need a waterproof file you know that i know you know what waterproof file is now where you can keep all your printed documents so get that to put all your printed documents in them then aside from this you would need toiletries you don't expect nys the big government to give you soap to use and bath now. so you have to get your own sponge your own personal toothpaste your brush i don't even have to tell you all of these things but you know toiletries get the towel if you are very sensitive get the towel because you need to basically be um is it disinfecting a lot of surfaces i don't want to talk about that i don't <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, get it all. Then um, get a bed spread. Although when I was going, I had a lot of rumors that there will be bed bugs on the bed. The saying camp did not have bed bugs. Not the one that beats me. And nothing sucked my blood. I was literally fine. But you have to get a bed spread. Maybe two or one. I I got a very big one. Then I folded it into two. So when one side is dirty, I turn to the other side because I cannot be washing clothes. So you need to get bed spread. Then you also need to get a mosquito net because ah, mosquito camp when you where they go. <laughs> the mosquitoes are camp are mad. They're like they're not mosquitoes. They are they are my mosquitoes. They are very big. They can swallow a whole baby. So you don't want to end up having malaria, which I did in camp. So you want to get a mosquito net and you want to make sure you spread your mosquito net first before taking it into camp, so you don't have itchy skin and face and body. I've gone through that before you don't want to go through it when you're packing your box don't forget to get a padlock with a key and let the key come with babies because you might misplace and don't put all your keys in one bunch or in one key holder spread them so when you misplace one you're not gonna be looking for somebody that has spare key or you can even get to camp and buy padlock and key they sell that in mommy camp but all of these things are just always expensive when you get to camp so it's just better you get it from the house then get a lot of munchies araye hmm era munchies you buy something that you use and hold some especially if you have ulcer because hmm shall buy munchies buy a lot of things you can chew on if you want to get capri sun buy if you want to get lip tea buy, buy plenty of things buy chin chin buy I don't know if you can buy pop buy anything you can buy because when you're on private ground, especially if you are somebody like me that went to go and participate in all I made sure I participated in all of the activities and I was usually hungry and very tired. So you want to get a lot of munchies to keep you going. You also want to get drugs. Well, the thing about these drugs is that it's actually under things you're not meant to pack. But if you're smart enough, you should know you should get paracetamol and vitamin C. Yeah. They allow vitamin C and paracetamol. I got paracetamol, I got calcium. I try to have a very big gist on this drug thing. My eyes somewhere when I was in camp. Maybe I'm going to do another video on what happened and why I almost got chased out of camp. I'm going to give you that gist later on. But to cut the long story short, I packed like a pharmacy into camp and I was almost, should I say deported? I was almost chased out of camp. 
so you don't want to pack too much drugs just pack the essentials vitamin c pain relief drugs don't pack felvin because they would know ndlea is in front of the gate and they are going to search you and when they see all these kind of drugs they will seize them from you and probably even put you in the black book or whatever book they used to put people's name so you don't want to take things that might implicate you just get paracetamol vitamin c and maybe an rogestic or person they call that thing for those bounds that can relieve your pain because you will match my sister my brother you go match you're gonna match so you need something that will relieve you of all those pains they also need to get clothing for sunday well the thing about camp is that we are not permitted to wear our mufti during the week you can't wear mufti from mondays to saturdays you can only wear your mufti on sundays but me now i pack all my clothes in fact i packed all my all my night wears i packed everything inside the box and i was thinking i'll be able to wear them but no they will not allow you wear them they might give you the first two days to wear your mufti's but after the first two days you have to be wearing your white and white every single time your white vest and your white shirt every single time even if it is dirty you will wear it like that so the only mufti you can pack should probably be for Sunday service and even after Sunday, so once it's like 2 or 4 in the evening you'll be asked to go and change into your white and white so you don't need to pack so much mufti to the NYSC camp then um, you need a rechargeable lamp hmm. this is very essential because it's not all orientation camps that always have 24 7 lights well I went to Isai camp and we had lights most of the time you know we have mouths <laughs> but so other people that were complaining that they do not have lights in their hostel carry rechargeable although it was very useful for me too even though we had lights because it's not all of the bathrooms that had lights in them so you don't want to go and bath in inside darkness so you want to carry your rechargeable lamp the one important thing you cannot do without is to buy um a power bank a very strong one but see what don't buy a mobile power bank Close your eyes. If they call power bank for you, thank you. And you know it's original. Buy it. Because, guy, you will regret if you don't buy it, though. You see, I'm laying emphasis on that. Because hmm, they don't allow us charge inside NYSC Campo. You cannot charge inside your rooms. In fact, as I got to the room, they had disconnected all of the sockets that way. The only thing is working was the fan and the lights. You will not be able to charge. You have to go to Mami Market to go and be charging. And charging is not for free. If you want to charge phone, you charge your phone for like 100 naira. If you want to charge lamp, lamp is 70 naira. In the camp, I don't know about every other camp, lamp is 70 naira, um, phone is 100 naira, power bank is 100 naira. Now imagine you have power bank, two phones and a lamp. Do you know how much you're paying for charging in a day? Does it make any sense? So you want to charge, you want to have a power bank that can charge your phone times two. But if you don't have that capacity, at least buy a power bank that can at least charge your phone to maybe 70%, which is okay. Then you want to really make sure that you have enough money. <laughs> that money is essential because there is no ATM center inside the orientation camp. Although there are guys with the POS stuff in Mami Market and you know you have to pay charges for them. But at least for the first week that you are going, pack enough money. Me, I spent over 40,000 naira in camp. Why? Because I wasn't eating um, camp's food that much. Our timetable was... <laughs> Our timetable wasn't a more particular kind of timetable, you know. I was, I was, I was strained expensively. I don't eat such. Anyways, anyways, our timetable had, I think, a bar, a goosey, beans, then um, bread and and tea, and butter. So I can't, I couldn't like continue to be eating those things because it wasn't like then rice jollof rice sometimes and i'm not really a big fan of jollof rice like that if there's not have dodo inside and they cannot give you jollof rice and put dodo so i had to go to mommy market most of the times to eat although i was eating camp food and trust me he's saying camp's food was nice it was really good see i'm giving them another clap of food it was really good but i just couldn't keep eating the same set of things because i'm quite picky so i had to go to camp market and buy food and food in camp market is very expensive so you want in fact drink is very they don't sell ten wrap your water so you want to know the kind of packaging you will carry yourself to go and do there so you want to have a lot of money but if you know you're going to be eating camp food you don't need so much money then but when you get to camp market there are some things you would want to buy some things that will enter your eyes that you want to buy that you might not see in your local market at home i just want to buy it from there so you need enough money a lot of money 
to um, survive in camp and then you also need a blanket why because it gets cold in camp i don't know why even though it was oyo and oyo is not in the north it was really cold it gets very cold in camp so you want to get something very thick to use and cover your body with you can get okay, don't go and carry and carry out don't say what is the woman that carries gonna cover your body in the camp you will freeze your blood is gonna freeze yeah so don't carry and carry carry thick blankets something very thick that can cover you well because you'll be cold then one mistake i made that i did not pack was a cardigan I took a normal cardigan, but my cardigan was blue because it was a Redeemer's University cardigan. Do you want to get a white cardigan? They allow us to actually wear cardigans on the parade ground, although it's always very cold because we wake up as early as 3 to take our baths, then you should be on the field by 4 for morning devotion and morning drills and all of that. And you can imagine going outside by that time, you know the kind of cold that will be there. So most people were wearing their cardigan they wear though you'll be asked to wear that your white cardigan under then you wear your white vest on top of it you can't wear your cardigan on top of the white vest you wear the white vest on top of the cardigan so you have a lot of luck if it is white but if it is not white and it is another color they'll tell you to remove it and our nyc khaki jacket arena and jacket is not so strong to withhold um cold so you might want to carry that cardigan and even wear your jacket on top because of that kind of cold so you want to get a cardigan that is you know very thick and is white in color so that it will match with your white vest and you will not be sent back then when you are buying socks buy long socks that will at least even be reaching your knee if you want to buy pop socks as long as it's white sharp buy so that cold because i'm talking from or you can imagine when i get posted to nasarawa you know that cold will finish you so before cold begins to finish you carry pneumonia home buy pop socks even if you're a man don't be, don't don't be shy don't say that they will something buy long socks then all of you that used to carry sneakers that used to think i can wear i can wear loafers i can wear white white nike i can wear air max i'm waiting the color whoa <laughs> anyway i used to be destroy your shoe for you but i'm gonna buy rubber sneakers make sure the sneakers you're buying is rubber water can touch it because don't say I did not take. So I think that is all on what you need to pack to come. Thank you so much for staying and sticking to this point. If you've not stick to this point and you still do not subscribe, ah, ah, a barrel long, fear God. Subscribe, baby, are we fighting? Please subscribe to my channel so that your blood is not gonna dry. Subscribe to my channel and uh, make sure you watch every of my other videos i promise you it's fun and it's good and you'll be seeing i'm not fine like this but you'll be seeing me in the final state and if you subscribe to my channel already you already know i love you so much thank you so much for supporting thank you for sticking by and please if you have any questions for me any topic i did not talk about or touch anything i didn't say um, you can remind me in the comment section or you can ask your question in the comment section and I'll be ready to give you answers to them. You see all those suggested videos you've been seeing that you've been passing. Oh yeah, rewind. Go back to them and go and watch them. Or better still, once this video is about to end, you will see them again. Click on them and watch. I don't fight you. Click. Anyways, I'm going to be seeing you gentlemen, prospective comment. No. Prospective gentlemen call members. Coppers, we let me hear you say, Wow, coppers, we <laughs> anyways. When you get to come, that's gonna be calling you prospective gentlemen, whether you're a girl or you're a boy. Gentlemen, call members, anyways. I'm going to be seeing you, gentlemen, call members after you come back from your camp because you'll not be able to press phone in camp. I'll be seeing you guys after your three weeks. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for sticking to this point. Bye, gentlemen, core members. <laughs> I love you. Bye, guys.